And then there were four. We are down to four. Welcome to the show. Lauren Shahadi alongside Wes Goldstein. Detroit, Chicago, Pittsburgh, and Carolina. Only one of these teams really is rested, and I'm talking about the Blackhawks. Which series are you most anxious to watch, Wes? Well, certainly when you have two original six teams like you do with Detroit and Chicago, it's going to be quite a thing for the fans and quite a thing for the league. So that looks like a very interesting series. Our two central division rivals have had a great match up all season. So I'm looking forward to that. But certainly between Carolina and Pittsburgh, where you have the Stahl brothers facing us off against each other and Sidney Crosby, that's going to be a pretty good series. Who too. do the parents cheer for in that situation? <laughs> <laughs> Who's that you cheer for, right? It's a good question, but I have to tell you, the one thing that's easier, they don't have to worry about switching channels. They're going to be in one place at one time, so <laughs> exactly. they should be pretty happy about that. That's it's right. going to be tough, but you know, I, I think they're going to try and split their loyalties. Maybe the father will root for one kid and, and the mother for the other. All right. Two of the original six, like you mentioned, of course, Sydney, Sydney the kid, probably one of the most recognizable players in the playoffs. Let me ask you this. Is the NHL happy? They have to be with all this drama, all these game sevens. They have to be excited about this. People it's, are excited about the sport. Oh, absolutely. It's been a great, a great place. And you know, and, the, and you look at it in terms of the television ratings in the various markets, they've been going through the roof in Washington and Chicago in Pittsburgh. The, the numbers have been staggering in all those cities and the games have been great and they've been really compelling. It's drawn a lot of attention outside traditional hockey markets and, and uh, for hockey fans. So it's been really good for the league. Now first San Jose, then Boston, no number one seeds left. What's been the biggest surprise? Is that a surprise to you? Well, I, I think certainly with San Jose going down in the first round, that was a bit of a surprise. I guess, you know, the, the idea about looking out for number one, maybe you have to look out for being number one these days because the Sharks finished first overall and they got eliminated pretty easily by Anaheim in the first round. The Bruins had a, a, a better shot at advancing. They took it to a game seven. They fought back from a 3-1 deficit in the series. But ultimately, Carolina, you know, found a way to win in overtime and that the Boston's going home. Okay, and when you look at last year, you still have two of the Stanley Cup teams in in mm -hmm. it still in Pittsburgh and Detroit. What about a rematch? How, how likely is that in your eyes? It's very possible. Certainly the way Detroit's playing and the way Pittsburgh is playing, you know, anything can happen uh, between those two teams in, in their series. So I, I wouldn't be surprised to see them in a finals matchup again. Are you a Pittsburgh fan? Are you a Chicago fan? Maybe I'm way off. The point is you have to check out our previews from Wes and I right here on the site. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.